provided, as Karuna said, to train youth with disabilities and to customize solutions for companies to hire them. And today it's become, it's headquartered in Telangana, but it's the largest in the country with 18 centers in nine states. So, um, fantastic. I, and this needs, because uh, this is a rare kind of work, very rare. So, when I was thinking about the vision, you know, companies have this concept called great place to work in. Yeah. And companies and the entire staff really, not only the CEO, but everyone in a participative manner makes, works on it to make it a reality. So, I thought if you can have a smart Hyderabad, where, which makes Hyderabad a great place to live in and for all. I think the all is the important one because everyone, it should be participative and all should be stakeholders, the rich and the poor, those who have technology, those who don't have technology, you know, there should be no divides. And in this, I have three concepts which are important. One is universal accessibility. I think any global city, if you look at universal accessibility is important. And Somshika has already said people are living longer because of technology and persons with disability are 2 to 3 percent of the population, a sizable numbers. We need to look at them. The second is using technology for me personally to have a corrupt, corruption-free smart Hyderabad. That to me is absolutely <laughs> crucial. If we can use technology to remove corruption in every place, I think we will become automatically the smartest city to live in. Great. Yeah. Very well said. And the third is that while we think of vertical glass, etc., I would have one more plea that we should preserve our rockscapes and our mm. landscapes. Nice. I think these three would make Hyderabad truly smart. Fantastic.